Hey everyone, so for today's video, I wanted to jump on here and talk about Danessa Myrick's Beauty. Danessa Myrick's Beauty recently launched to Sephora, which is so, so exciting. I love that more people have access to this brand because I feel like every time I hear about someone trying out the brand for the first time, it's kind of that moment where you're just like, why didn't I try out these products sooner? I feel like the formulas are really, really beautiful. So congratulations to the Danessa Myricks team. In today's video, I am going to be giving you kind of a rundown of the products that I've tried from the line, demos, swatches, and all that good stuff so that you guys can get a better idea of what my thoughts are. I've tried all the products and videos all over the place, so I thought that this kind of roundup would be a little bit more helpful. So I hope that you guys do enjoy it. And if you do, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like me, I would love to have you back. So make sure to subscribe as well. And let's talk about one of the first formulas I think I tried from Danessa Myricks, which are the color fixes. The cream color matte liquid pigments for the lips, cheeks, and the eyes. I also have one of the glazes as well. So the classic color fix is actually a long wear paint that you can put on the lips, on the cheeks, on the eyes. And it comes in a variety of finishes. So there are metallics, mattes, and high shines. And the glazes are the ones that are the high shines. And this is a completely different formula. This is a gloss product. Whereas this is again, that long wear paint kind of product. And this is incredibly, incredibly pigmented. That's something that I see within the line a lot is that this definitely gives you rich pigment right off the bat. I have mine in the shade Celebration and I actually mentioned this in my best one and done shadow video, like my favorite one and done shadows. And this is certainly a product that I always recommend to those of you that love cream products, especially on the eyes, but you want it to last a little bit longer. You don't want it to crease as quickly. This is what I'm actually wearing on my lids today. If you see any creasing, it's because of the concealer that I put on the inner portion of my eye. Everywhere where I've put the color fix, it just lasts a really, really long time. Actually, I did an entire tutorial using these two products. I think it was my autumnal glossy lid look, and this is somehow a crease resistant glossy eye look. Like you can layer a gloss on top of any of the color fixes and it doesn't immediately crease up like a normal cream shadow would. I literally never heard of that even being a thing. So again, this is a really, really long wear product. So if you're into cream products, but you like something more long wearing, I definitely recommend looking at the Color Fix line. Also because there are mattes, there are these metallics, and there are so many different shades. So there's really a lot to choose from and I feel like there's really something for everyone. I also did try out one of the nude Color Fixes. That's something that you can kind of use as a concealing product, a bronzing product, depending on the shades that you choose. And that was one of the most long wear cream bronzing products that I had ever used. Unfortunately, I don't think that those shades are available at Sephora at the moment, but that's a bronzing product that I highly recommend if you want to use a cream bronzer, but again, you're trying to look for something a little bit more on the long wear side. Because this is kind of a creamy uh, paint product, it does take a little bit longer to blend into the skin, especially on the cheeks just because you have to kind of blend it out on a larger area of the face. But I actually find that these blend out really easily on the eyes. Once you play around with it a couple of times, it's really, really easy to work with and it stays put. This is really a beautiful kind of one and done smoky shade. So beautiful. You're able to get a really blown out effect as well. There are some liquid shadow products that kind of chop up and dry down in an awkward way. Some areas will dry down and then when you build up the product, those two layers of product won't want to mix together and blend. And that I've just found to be the case with more matte long wear paint products for the eyes. And this is just not that at all. It gives you enough time to blend really beautifully and seamlessly. 
but when it sets down, it really sets down. So just a beautiful formula all together. Only thing I don't like, and the reason I don't have that nude shade to share with you all, is that I do think there is a slight packaging problem with these. Really have to make sure to screw this on tight or it will dry out. For the other shade that I had, I actually took this top thing off stupidly and the entire thing dried out very, very quickly. So that was definitely my fault. But I do know other people that have had that kind of drying out issue. You can always Always add like a mixing in kind of medium to wet the product back up but you know most of us don't have that on hand so I would say just make sure to really screw this on tight maybe put it in a plastic bag if you really want to make sure that less air gets in so really a beautiful formula in my opinion it's the standout product within the line if you are a lover of cream products I definitely recommend checking these out and you can potentially pick out a shade unlike the celebration shade to be able to use on the cheeks and the lips. I think this would actually look kind of cool on the lips, but I definitely think there are other shades within the line that would work beautifully to work like together as a monochromatic look and it will last on the cheeks. So if you want like a cream blush shade that's going to last a really long time, that's also something to keep in mind. As for the glazes, um, this is a really nice thinner gloss that's still really reflective. I like it on the lips, it's unscented, so it's also nice to be able to use on the lids. You know, you try to not have any scented products too close to the eyes. I don't think there's anything super innovative about these. I do like, again, that they're very reflective but I think the metallics and the mattes within the color fix range are really where this shines. All that being said, there are some glosses that she has with like glitters throughout and I feel like for a glossy lid look that would be really really pretty but you could try and just find an unscented gloss at the drugstore and use it that way. Just make sure you're not using something that is touching your lips directly on your eyes because you don't want to do that. But speaking of long wear cheek products, Danessa Marigs also has the Vision Flush Cheek Eye and Lip Color. So this was actually a recommendation from Matilda on video. I did like a whole video asking my favorite YouTubers for uh, makeup recommendations. I'll leave that video linked down below just because it's like, I think one of my favorite videos I've ever done. Her and I try out a lot of the same products and we love a lot of the same shades as well. So she recommended the Vision Flush in the shade Ballet Slippers. And this shade, it's what's on my cheeks today. It is gorgeous. If you love like a brick kind of terracotta, pinky, gorgeous shade, this is definitely one that I would recommend. This is another multi-use product. For me, I use it just exclusively on my cheeks. This is a very highly pigmented liquid blush. It has a little bit more of a thin texture, but it's not watery. It still has that touch of creaminess to it. And there is like a touch of a moussey fluffiness to it as well. But what's awesome about these is that they're quite pigmented. So it's definitely not lacking in the pigment department. And also it blends out really seamlessly. Pigment is nice and saturated, but the blend is also very even. The formula actually reminds me quite a lot of the Rare Beauty matte blushes. If you guys have tried out that formula, this reminds me a lot of that. There are different shades within the Vision Flush line. So I believe there's a highlight shade that I have been struggling to not buy. And there are a couple of shades that I could see myself using for a bronzing product, but I really, really enjoy this one. I also find that it gives me like just a touch of a blur as well because it's that kind of matte, soft formula. It looks really soft and pretty on the skin. And it also lasts a little bit longer than the typical liquid cream blush. So if you want something more matte, if you want something that's going to last a little bit longer, this is also a really, really nice option. Personally, again, I would use it as a cheek product. I wouldn't use this on the lips just because it has a bit of like a a bit of a floral scent. It's not something I notice at all on my cheeks, but when I have it on my lips, I can kind of taste it a little bit. And it is a touch off-putting. So again, I would just use this 
all over the cheeks. The look is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. If any of you guys have tried out the Tiara shade from the line, that's the highlight metallic shade that she has come out with, please let me know because I've been looking at that one. But I also do have a highlight from Danessa Myricks. This is the Dew Wet Hydrating and Highlighting Balm. So I actually have the clear shade. You can see it just looks like a blank pan, but this is a clear kind of balm highlight. If you want that truly glossy, dewy look, like no pigment, no sparkle, no shimmer, no anything, just straight dew on the cheeks, this product will give it to you. I don't have any of it on my cheeks right now, so I'll show you how it looks. This is just straight dew, instant dew. I have quite a few products like this in my collection, and I have to say this formula to me is the one that I would reach for the most because it almost has kind of a squishy like gel jelly texture. It's kind of hard to describe, but the texture is super satisfying. It's slightly sticky. It's not super, super sticky the way some like really, really balmy Vaseline-y kind of balm highlights can be. It lays a little bit thinner on the skin, but it does still have a touch of attack. So if you're not into that, you probably won't like this. But look at that. It is just straight dew. This is incredible incredible glossiness very quickly. I don't think I've tried another one of these products that is as thin as this and does kind of mesh over the skin as seamlessly as this does. Again, I just like to kind of take it on the fingers and tap it into the skin. I've also used a beauty blender as well, but I just find that using the fingers to kind of warm up the product and tap it on is the best way to go. If you really love that juicy um, high shine finish to the cheeks, this is certainly something to look into, but there also are some like shimmer pigment shades within the Dew Wet product line. I'm kind of interested in how those would look as well. Surprise, surprise. Next, let's talk about the Vision Cover Cream Foundation and Concealer. So you can see here, I actually only have a sample size because I was a little bit hesitant to just jump into this kind of product because this is definitely a high, high pigmentation product. When they say it can be used as a concealer and a foundation, that means it's full coverage. There is a ton of pigment to this product. This is a full pigment cream color product. So what I like to do with a product like this is just take a little bit. You obviously don't need much. And I like to mix it in with a primer or a facial oil, just so it's a little bit easier to work with because this is quite a creamy, but heavy duty kind of pigment product. So this product is definitely, I believe at least, more geared towards makeup artists rather than someone that's just putting on quick makeup. Because this is so pigmented and so thick, it is a little bit more difficult to work with if you weren't to add a facial oil, a moisturizer, or whatever into the product. It's also quite waterproof. You can put a little bit out on the back of your hand and unless you use you know, like a micellar water, it's not going to come off with just regular soap and water. So what that means is that this is an incredibly long wear product as well. This is definitely something that is going to stay on the skin. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily never going to transfer. Like if, like if you put your mask on, you might see a little bit of makeup come off, but on your face, you're not going to see any patching. This really is, I think, great makeup for someone that needs makeup to stay on for like 12 hours. If you work really, really long shifts, I can see this working well for someone that really wants that coverage to last a long time. The finish on my dry skin is a little bit flat. I wouldn't say it's completely, completely matte, but that being said, I only mix this in with a glowy lotion or primer. For the demo, I actually used the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice in My Drops, and I mixed that into the product and then used it all over the face because I wanted it to have a little bit more dew. And it still, I think, in my opinion, just looked a little bit flat. But if you are someone with more oily skin, let's say you have more acne-prone skin and you wanted to use this 
kind of as like a spot concealer. I feel like this is going to be a great workhorse kind of product for you because you can take just a little bit and kind of pinpoint conceal that way if that's what you want to do. But for me to one, take the extra step to add a moisturizer to it to kind of sheer it out a little bit, not exactly get the perfect finish that I want. I would honestly rather go with another foundation. I do think if you are dealing with photography for makeup that really needs to last a very long time. This is certainly a formula that I would give my stamp of approval to, but being that I'm more of an everyday makeup user, I just don't think that this is something that I would reach for very often. But I hope that you guys did enjoy the video and let me know down below if you have tried anything from Danessa Myricks. Are there certain products that you really enjoy? Products you would personally skip? I would love to know all of your thoughts down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you all in my next one.